Feels like time is going faster than it seems We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream We could see no reason where we should ever try to go to sleep Said we'd be on forever You taught me how to love And nothing could be better than you and me You and me, baby, it was you and me We could never fall But nobody could break us here I thought we had it all Take me back to when it was you and me You and me, baby, it was you and me Hey everyone, we are here in Tuman and as you can see it just started to rain but we've been shooting for about 20 minutes. I'm using the Sigma 135 1.8 R lens and I want to review it um, with our model today and she, if, it, if she looks familiar to you, she has worked with us before. Please introduce yourself in the Hi. rain. My name is Lupe. Um, I've been modeling for about two years. Uh, so far it's been a pretty good experience but my favorite is making these videos just because I learn a little bit more mm -hmm. but overall I'm excited to kind of see the results of this camera nice and the lens oh, sorry my makeup it's okay <laughs> I know if you, if you want to run that way you can run to save your makeup uh, but what's cool is uh, a while back myself and Lupe we did a video uh, with the Zeiss 135 1.8 but this is the Sigma 135 1.8. So I just want to see, um, using Lupe as the model, the comparison between two lenses. I don't own that lens anymore, the Zeiss, but I did pick this up for the Nikon D850. And if you're wondering, yes, this lens is weather sealed and also the, this camera body. Okay, uh, we'll try to keep on shooting if the rain stops. We were never growing up, so we'd be up forever. You taught me how to love, nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby, it was you and me. We could never fall, but nobody could break us here. I thought we had it all. Take me back to when it was you and me, you and me, baby, it was you and me. Okay, as you can see, it's super raining right now, but I just want to talk to you about the physical features of this lens. Around the mount, it has a rubber sill, perfect for what's happening right now to protect the lens from um, the harsh elements such as rain. I don't know about snow, it doesn't snow in Guam, but it has 82 millimeter filter thread. It's about 2.49 pounds, and the closest focusing is about three feet or 2.87 feet to P exact. Uh, we're gonna see if this rain loop is hiding underneath the branch for makeup <laughs> is getting ruined. So I, I don't know if the rain's gonna stop, but we're gonna see. Okay, so we postponed the photo shoot. Uh, the rain's not gonna stop. We're gonna postpone it to a couple of days from today. three this is going to be high contrast uh, one more one more shot one two and three okay if you look at the photos hey everyone this is part two of our review of the sigma 135r 1.8 uh, the first part that you saw on it was a saturday no friday 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 we got rained on so today is Sunday and as you can tell like I'm squinting, Lupe is squinting, it is super hot today which means good weather. Um, so we're going to continue uh, the photo shoot review of the Sigma 135. It feels really great in the hands. It's uh, a little bit heavier, 2.49 uh, pounds. It has two F low dispersion elements, two special 
low dispersion elements and that prevents the color fringing and chromatic aberrations. So earlier I was doing some headshots of Lupe against the sun, checking if there's any chromatic aberrations along her face or along her hair. So we're gonna continue to test out this lens. So far, uh, I know we've been shooting maybe for about five to seven minutes. How do you like the photos coming from the bright sun behind you and also on the side of you? In all honesty, it's kind of surprising just okay. because I'm so used to like my iPhone just automatically making me look dark. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Even with the lightness or, or the brightness of the sun coming through, mm -hmm. I can still see the vibrance in all my clothing, which is really, really cool. So the exposure is um, spot on um, with the lens laying the light in. Um, I think with the phone, there's there's like an HDR mode where it'll kind of compensate for the light, but being a small sensor and of course not being like a real camera, uh, you can't really get that accurate uh, exposure and um, color information. Okay, um, we'll keep on shooting. <laughs> I wanted to get like a 3D effect of Lupe with the tree, with some of the leaves in the foreground, leaves in the background. This lens has really great bokeh. That's because of the nine rounded diaphragm blades. It has 13 elements in 10 groups. And compared to the Zeiss 135 5.8 lens I used to have on the Sony system, the focus is super quick. The Zeiss had a screw driven uh, motor. This has a HSM, a hypersonic motor. And uh, Lupe is looking at the photos so far. I was trying to do some effects with the contrast with the shadows and the sun coming in. That looks so beautiful. And it's looking pretty good. Lupe hasn't seen mm -hmm. um, everything yet, but I just love the, the 3D effect that it's giving. Do you see the 3D effect? I know it's kind of hard to see with the, the sun, but... It looks like that branch that I was literally leaning on okay. is a little bit farther back than it is. Mm -hmm. And then all the branches look like I'm literally coming out of a jungle. <laughs> yeah. <Hawaiian>. With the, <laughs> with the <laughs> telephoto lens, it kind of compresses the background a bit, but at the same time, it, it blurs it. Well, I'm talking about so, the colors. Like the colors oh, the popping. colors of the... Yes. Yeah, so yes. like my colors are just super bright when I know mm -hmm. I'm covered in shade. Yeah. And then the white just like appear white. Yes, and it's not like blown out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll start one more outfit, so we'll keep on shooting. Everyone, we are done with our photo shoot. I just want to talk about the positives and negatives about this lens. The positive is it is very quick to focus and it's super sharp wide open at f1.8. The price uh, isn't that cheap, but it's less, uh, it's lower than the alternative, the Zeiss 135 1.8, which long time ago it was the only 135 
but Sigma came out with their own art series used. You can find this for about $900 as of August 2018. Some negatives is it's not um, a first party brand like Nikon or Canon. So reselling this may be a little bit hard to do, but Sigma has really increased the reputation of, of being a great lens manufacturer. Lupe, how do you, oh, did you swallow a mosquito? I believe so. It literally just blew in my mouth right when, when you're about you to talk. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. go ahead. What do you think about the lens overall? Uh, this is your third outfit. Mm -hmm. So far, I really love how it kind of enhances the colors without, I guess, making the background look not so imp like interesting. Mm -hmm. So it kind of just meshes it so it looks like one whole attracting picture, if that makes yes. sense. So it also gets very, very good quality, which I look for. Um, Overall, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's just a great camera, perfect for shooting really high details, mm -hmm. long distance, even autofocuses, which is amazing without having to mess with it. Mm -hmm. But it's a great camera. <laughs> I mentioned your third outfit because it matches perfectly the forest behind us. Mm -hmm. And just noticing from this lens itself, the contrast, it's really high. The, the sunlight's not blowing out your skin tones. Mm -hmm. Um, the shadows are deep, rich, and black, and even the post-process, of course, you can pull all that up, but um, super sharp, it makes you appear 3D. Mm -hmm. um, the compression is good, like you were saying, how it compresses everything together. Um, everything just works nicely together with um, the pictures that this lens uh, produces. Thank you for watching. Do you have anything you want to say? I know your social media, you're just still trying to bring it up. Yeah, still working on it, but add me on Facebook. I'm very friendly, and I love to shoot photos with anybody or anyone. I'm just experimenting right no now. No stalkers or creepers. <laughs> oh, no stalkers, please. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for and watching. please subscribe. <laughs> so I'm shooting some leaves and branches against the sun. And uh, off topic, this is where an EVF would be better because optical viewfinder, the sun's actually hurting my eyes. but. Um, as I can see right now, this is shot of wide open. Flare control is very good with this lens. And I, I just gotta go home to check out if there's any chromatic aberrations, but from looking at the pictures at the back of the camera, it's, it's well controlled, very good. I don't see anything. I don't see any CA, purple fringing, anything like that. Awesome lens. Hey everyone, we are home now. Let's take a look at some of the raw files from the Nikon D50 using the Sigma 135 1.8 art lens. All the photos I'm going to show you are unedited. And the next series of pictures, I was shooting directly into the sun while the sun was behind the branches. And I was just checking for flare control. And in my opinion, the flare control is pretty good. You see some ghosting here slightly again all shot wide open at 1.8 and looking for any chromatic aberrations or color fringing like purple fringing i don't see anything at all it is super well controlled with this lens with the two fld elements and two s um ld elements very very well controlled now let's take a look at another branch shot and remember the um, the purple haze you get from here is just from the um, the lens flare. But looking closely, it's, it's really well controlled. I don't see any CA at all. Really great lens. Okay, let's uh, do some pixel peeping and check for sharpness. Again, not edited at all. Looking at uh, Lupe's eyelashes, super sharp. Let's zoom in 100% here. Going up. Laying the picture low, super sharp. You can count every single eyelash. Let's try 200%. Again, very sharp. I really think uh, this could probably pass for a medium format file if someone didn't know a shot from a full frame, but I'm really impressed with this lens. Very sharp, wide open at 1.8. All right, next photo. This is taking a little um, ways back. And uh, of course, zooming in to 100%. 100% very sharp look at the bouquet in the background very smooth sharp transition 
to a smooth um, the transition is very very gradual very sharp on our eyes and then transitioning to the smooth background and also the foreground it really gives a nice 3d effect just like this image right here zooming in look at that super sharp at 1.8 and just the the bouquet not distracting at all especially shooting into the harsh uh, sunlight again very sharp at 1.8 and just looking at the background, like it really does awesome subject to background separation. So my opinion uh, with the Sigma R series, the best portrait lens to get is not the 85 1.4 or the 51.4. I think it's this lens, the 135 1.8. I love to compress the background. It actually gives you a shallower depth of field compared to the 85 uh, 1.4. And as long as you're shooting outdoors, not indoors, um, you could actually uh, choose your distance on how to shoot if you want to shoot um, at a closer distance to really just blow out the background or shoot at a medium distance or like I'm shooting here full body you can still get awesome subject to background isolation thank you for watching Guam photography and please subscribe be young forever. you taught me how to love and nothing could be better than you and me you and me baby.